Oh, that's smooth. You're born broke and you die broke. They're trying not to take the in-between part too seriously. It's Sully and Russ on the Big Biz Show. That's right, Big Biz Show, bigbizshow.com. You can follow us on Twitter at Big Biz Radio, 70 million TV homes strong. 150 radio stations, 175 countries, and all the ships at sea. And there's the award-winning, Emmy award-winning Rusty Nails, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Are you online somewhere? No, my iPhone. Text me. Yeah, nice yes. stuff. Time to arrive. Um, okay, so how about if I introduce you to a guy who's advised over 400 CEOs and corporations uh, in communications and media strategy? How about a guy that advises presidents and heads of state of foreign countries all over the world and uh, advises and supports the United Nations. Do you like that? I'd like here's to a, meet him. Here's a picture of him right here. Right here. That's not him. That looks like <laughs> That's you, not Bob. him. You two here's could have picture been separated him. at birth. Right By the way, his name is Matt Bird. Matt Bird runs. Uh, he is the, he's the founder and, uh, and CEO of 1-800-PR. 1-800-PR provides us with a number of guests. But there, I don't, I, he is advising, a, uh, he's advising an anchor there. There's another picture oh. of him advising a, uh, the, the president like, of Peru. Can we see that one too, please? It looks like he's holding an imaginary basketball in that picture, but that's very He joins us now on the Big Good Show. Matt, how are you, bud? Good to talk to you, pal. Uh, I'm doing good. Thanks, Holly. Hi, Russ. Hey. The, hey uh, yeah, what were you saying? Uh, no, I'm going to say I should make you my publicist. I, I should switch. <laughs> yes, I don't think now. so. No, I mean, well, he, he, he gives <laughs> us, I mean, we get a lot of great guests from him. And yeah. I thought, you know, you should talk about this because you are, uh, you're a number of things. One of the things that you are is a, is a communications strategist. You're a public relations professional. And you're also an investor relations professional. I and think, third and, baseman for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. That's just weird. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. incredible. He's a chubby <laughs> left-hander out of left field. But, can I, but honestly, you know, that, that's kind of a big umbrella, man. Talk to us about corporate public relations because we never get to talk about this mm. stuff. Well, you, you know, um, usually comp- the, those CEOs and companies end up to me when they're having, you know, you know capital market issues. Sure. And, and most companies from, like, under a billion dollars, I mean, they really face a couple big things, which is, one, liquidity issues. And, yeah. and, um, and obviously, everyone's always looking to try to raise more capital, raise shareholder value, all that fun stuff. Well, you know, we think it falls under IR, but it really falls under PR. And um, it's just... It's just a function of communication. So, so let's, the day. T- let's talk about the difference. I think a lot because, for example, with small cap companies and even Amex companies, people don't understand mm-hmm. the difference between investor relations and public relations. Uh, t- break, us, t- break that down for us. All right. So um, here's a really basic example. If you're going to invest in a company under a billion dollars in market cap versus over a billion, wh- you're not going to invest in the revenues of the company. You're not going to invest for dividends. What you're investing is a company that go from like $1 to $2, 100% return. So you're investing in speculation. So these companies fundamentally need to be focusing on communications versus, you know, operating the business as normal because shareholder value doesn't come from the dividends because they don't have enough revenue. It comes from the idea that this company has become something bigger than it is. And so that's where kind of, you know, where I fall in and and where my company's specialty is on the corp comp side. But, you know, we've built a little bit of a niche. You know, it's just um, a fundamental basics of of whether the company can get out there and communicate their message through mainstream media outlets, which is what you guys do all day long. And, And... it's, you know, what you guys do is provide a really important um, platform for companies to be able to get out and communicate their message. And, well, and we do because, because in our segment, small caps are people, too. I think it's important because you know, if you can have access to a CEO, you can't have access to a NASDAQ CEO. Somewhere. And the fun part is we make our guests feel so relaxed, they actually swear yeah, on you know air. What? That is true. <laughs> we have bleep more. We have, yeah, so Jorge Sanz is our assistant director, and Bobby Ware, our producer, have to talk to every guest. And look, you're going to feel comfortable with those guys. Yeah. So comfortable that you'll probably want to drop an S-bomb. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, Matt Bird is the president and founder of 1-800-Public Relations, 1-800-PR. Uh, and there's his website up there, 1-800-PublicRelations.com, for their television audience. You can see that, a radio audience. Easy enough, I will tweet it out, and I'll let you let you, uh, let you take a look at it. Yes, do you, Well, I'm just saying uh-huh. this all mixes in with, the, uh, as you're saying, the advertising, the marketing, the branding and having yeah. you know the right people well, to, to he, kind of coordinate that. It's true. He knows what he's doing because uh, you are arguing between 2014 and 2015. Are you are you the biggest PR firm in the country or the fastest growing? Yeah, I would say that we are we're the fastest growing as far as client wise. Um, I mean, we still have a long ways to go to catch up to Edelman, but we're, we have a completely different model. We're transactional based. So yeah. Darn it. we you know we look at this as, as a support system. Companies reach out to us on an on demand a la carte basis, and we support them on like micro. You know, PR and communication initiatives. But hey, Russ, listen. You 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 said something a second ago that was really interesting. You said you don't find Nasdaq CEOs going on your show very often. You know, the the reason for that is because 
when you get to that level, um, there's more liability for those CEOs to get yeah. on, let's say, a Hannity or a Fox News. Right. So you don't find big board CEOs jumping on I mean, from news networks because if they say something wrong, well, you know, it could, it could <laughs> the market cap could go the but other that, direction. But that's, yeah. but that's why they have um, guys like Matt Bird, who, by the way, right. if, right. I, if I'm reading, and I got, I'm, I'm reading a. Uh, this, I'm reading an email actually here, and it says uh, he has been he's been listed number three on the top ten most influential media and communications executives in the world. Well, you couldn't get to number two, Slacker. What yeah, the hell? Who, who's heels? Who are you? Whose heels are you nipping on? Yeah, yeah number. <laughs> did you did you know this? <laughs> Have I broken this news, or did you, were you aware of this? Number three. Yeah, I, I am aware of it, and it's uh, it's, it's it hasn't been publicly announced yet. But uh, well, we just yeah, did. Sorry, yeah. Imagine that. We just we just did. <laughs> Seven more people know it now. <laughs> So well, congratulations, <laughs> but that's the reason that you're doing what you're doing because yeah. because you are you you are you have the wisdom to do that, and I think I think it's a very tough job knowing that we are one of the few places that will interview a uh, a Nasdaq small cap company under a buck mm -hmm. or or a, or a a pink sheet company uh, because and I'll tell you why we do. I like it. them though; they're passionate. Well, let me tell you why. Without cue cards, because like some a of them don't look like small cap companies, right, right. but and they run like big companies. But you have access to them, Matt. And, and how important is that? Well, uh, you, but, yeah, you know, I, I have to give the credit to you because the thing that they reach out for to us is to make sure they're, they're in safe environments. You know, it's easy to throw a CEO under the bus. It's easy mm -hmm. to look at IBM and say, hey, you know, what about that, that you know, mess up that happened regarding that, that R&D thing versus looking at all the things that they accomplished. And the cool thing that you guys do is you bring up the best in these CEOs and you really focus on the accomplishments and the things they've achieved so your listeners can understand that these guys are, these guys are people and we can learn from their achievements and how they got there. It, you know, today's celebrities aren't the, you know, the basketball players and football ball players today. It's like the tech guys behind the scenes. Yeah. It's the CEOs. It's the Zuckerbergs. And we want to know how they work. How did they get to where they're at? And you guys bring that, that out I, of these, I, these CEOs. And, I and, think uh, that's the secret sauce. I think you're absolutely right. I think, I think that being able to pull the covers back. Yep. You know, sometimes, and by the way, thank you for recording our promo yeah, for the next year. Right, Appreciate exactly. that. Matt Bird, by the way, wow. he is the president and founder of 1-800-Public Relations. Matt, thanks so much. I want to make him a regular because he can talk about small cap. Matt, you're stuck now, pal. You're that coming, you're coming in with us. That and uh, appreciate that all the way from New York. Yeah, I, like the, I hope we can get him in studio. Look, he's got pictures of him and freaking Geraldo Rivera and the president of Peru. And, Geraldo. Hey, there's Amelia Antonetti. She's been in our show.